Welcome back to this art. Today, we're diving into the world of Sir Alfred James Munnings, one of England's finest painters of horses. Known for his outspoken criticism of modernism, Munnings' art style captures the beauty and grace of these majestic creatures. Let's start with, A Bay Racehorse with a Groom. In this painting, Munnings skillfully portrays the connection between the horse and its groom, showcasing the bond and trust between them. Next up is, A Racehorse in a Landscape. Here, Munnings transports us to a serene countryside setting, where we witness the power and elegance of the racehorse as it gallops through the landscape. Moving on to, Study of Isaac Bell, Munnings captures the essence of his subject with incredible detail and precision. This portrait showcases the individuality and character of Bell, bringing him to life on the canvas. Now, let's take a look at, Bunker 2, A Bay Racehorse. Munnings' brushstrokes bring out the horse's strength and determination, creating a sense of energy and movement within the painting. In, With a Pull Hill, Exmoor, Munnings takes us to the picturesque landscapes of Exmoor. The vibrant colors and sweeping brushstrokes transport us to this idyllic setting, capturing the beauty of nature. Bungai Races, Suffolk, brings us into the thrilling world of horse racing. Munnings' attention to detail and use of light and shadow create a sense of excitement and anticipation as the horses race towards the finish line. Now, let's explore, A Hunter in a Stable. Munning's skillful depiction of the horse and its surroundings immerses us in the stable atmosphere, showcasing the bond between man and horse. Moving on to, Tags Island, Munnings invites us to a tranquil riverside scene. The peacefulness of the setting is beautifully captured, allowing us to escape into this serene moment. In, A Bay Horse in a Landscape, Munnings once again showcases his mastery of capturing the essence of horses in their natural surroundings. The horse stands proudly against the backdrop of a breathtaking landscape. Next, we have, A Gypsy Campfire. Munning's use of warm colors and soft brushstrokes transports us to a cozy campfire scene, where we can almost feel the warmth and hear the crackling of the fire. In, Study 4, Going Up the Canter, Munnings captures the energy and excitement of a horse in motion. The dynamic brushstrokes and bold colors bring the scene to life, making us feel as if we're right there in the moment. Now, let's explore, Study of a Bay Horse. Munning's attention to detail and his ability to capture the horse's form and expression make this painting truly remarkable. In, An Exmoor Scene, Munnings takes us back to the breathtaking landscapes of Exmoor. The play of light and shadow creates a sense of depth and atmosphere, making us feel as if we're standing right there. Finally, we have, Cloud Studies. Munnings' exploration of the sky and clouds showcases his versatility as an artist. The soft, wispy brushstrokes create a sense of tranquility and evoke a feeling of serenity. And that concludes our journey through the artworks of Sir Alfred James Munnings. We hope you enjoyed this glimpse into his incredible talent and the beauty he brings to life on canvas. Stay tuned for more artist spotlights on this art.